Hey guys, you're watching how I'm playing some Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. And I played the first one, but I didn't get it on video. But um, I, I can still do it, but I'm not going to do it. So we're going to jump right in. Alright, I remember this from I think episode 4? Right before they came to order the stone. These are, yeah, some of these guys are new. She's new. She's new. I'm gonna go with my original. Yeah. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is ta tailored by how you play. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. And working together, they struck it down and saved oh, wait, what's everyone. His name again? Oh. Soon, they were the most famous people it? in the whole world. Wasn't and Ivor. their legend, their Axel, fame, just continued to grow kind as they disturbing. explored more worlds, Daddy venturing Cat. into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took yeah. their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, he's sleeping. I thought he was crying. Oh, uh-huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Her voice, what? Well, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely I exaggerated here and, and there, voice. but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it Call might Lucas. make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, yep, Jesse. I had been hoping well, to have it ready know. to read a founding day, but uh, next year. I can't believe it's founding day just already. Started this year. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm <laughs> proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah. Why does we Jesse's were all shoulders there. look like they went down? For uh, most of it, anyway. I'm That's better, true, but I'm the leader. Um, we did it together. Well, I mean, I am the leader, you guys. It's just the way it happened. If you say so. Yeah, kind of self-centered, though. Well, this has all been oh. really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, well, I can I add a chapter about them, they do? and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. True. Jesse, your intern. Did she just call me Jeffy? Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. Oh, My deepest, gosh. sincerest, utmost apologies don't if I've apologize. caused any inconvenience. You don't need to apologize. We're just hanging out. Right, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. I, I, I mean, uh... Oh. So, what's up? I, I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, oh, yeah, if you hurry, about Petra. you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've wow. actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And uh, I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Guys, we're supposed to be a team here. It's our adventure night. Sorry, Jesse. It's just that things are different now. 
You got your life, and we got ours. None of us can just drop everything and go adventuring like we used to. Tell Petra I said, next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. This has been great. See you, Jesse. I am going to see you all again. Same time next week. All right. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. <laughs> Where the freak Axel. did he come from? I tell you. I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! Some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I love adventure. Yeah, but being out there, adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. Can I get a new outfit? Oh, wait, this is me now. Octopus? What octopus? She's an octopus? The Rainbow Beacon. It's powered by the Nether Star the Witherstorm dropped. Oh, I know! Even before I moved to Beacon Town, I came on a trip to see the beacon. I love this thing. Yeah, right there. Octopus. What is that? Where's Ivor? I still haven't seen Ivor. Oh! Craving seafood? Always! Why? Their smiles are kind of creepy. Um, Jesse, dude! No! I thought you were out seeing the worlds! Did that! Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, you picked a great spot. Pretty proud of this town. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Jesse, I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Wait, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. 
Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. True. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. This. But you should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, I what's Nandy said? To the anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Yeah, later. Okay, I got two bones. Am I following them? I don't know where the mines are. Wait. I'm getting distracted. Ruben. Let's see. Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Ruben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Ruben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. Your what, nose, my What are you dude. doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For Founding Day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. No, oh, that's no, really Ruben cute. Right? Uh, uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah, talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be try and stay positive. to say that the pig was hand chosen by there. Jesse for the part. Oh, no. I would love to. Wait, why did that like pig just lay there? Oh, that's fantastic! Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. They're all Show the same. Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderbolt the Sixth. <laughs> Mun Don Von the Sixth. Tried my best to bring the pigs that felt the most Ruben esque. Cute, cute, cute cheeks. You're all adorable. Raised best all of them myself. Lord Von Thunderbolt. <laughs> they're all the, yeah, they're but all the same. They all look exactly the same. What? No, they. I, I am offended. They are, I'm pretty sure, offended. Look at their offended little faces. Sorry, I just can't pick one. Fine. Well, in that case, I guess there just won't be a Reuben in the festival this year. Come on, boys. Get a baby Reuben, then we'll talk. Jesse! Hey, hey, look who it is! Jesse, hey! Hey, guys, what are you doing? I'm glad you asked. We're working on a new game. I'm a leader. Can I dress like one? Guarantee you, it's gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. <gasps> hey, I give us a hand more. finishing it up. I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Great. Yep. Sounds great. It's really cool. I wear that hands. sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're gonna be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? Thought? Did she, did she just call me a thought? He's looking at me weird. He, she looks positive, and she has come. Stone yeah. is safer. Why don't yeah, we run with that? Exactly. What is? A house? Nice. That turned out great. Uh, just like I promised. You can take the first dive. Wait. Just aim for the oh, slime! To... Oh, It'll okay. be great! Go, Jesse! Double. <laughs> Double. Belly oh, flop, that's gonna nervous. hurt. Us. Don't worry, Jesse will love it. Oh, I hope you're right. right. Um, belly flop. <laughs> Woo! Ta da! <laughs> Thanks, everyone. That Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that. Thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run. But I should nice go work. again since I did two things. Is that the mine? Yes. Thank you. Wait. What you looking at, citizen? Oh, <laughs> Jesse! Wow. Hi. <laughs> I'm just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? How did it get up is it the appropriate yeah. aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Question. Beacon Town? How'd you even get up there? That's, like, really high. No, getting up wasn't the hard part. Getting down was. <laughs> uh, okay then, we'll just leave you to it. Is he okay? No, I don't think so. Um, should I be worried about it? 
understand? Yeah, let me talk to them real quick. Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy, it needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys. For breakfast? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations now again. Now I think about it, not I'm everyone all likes cake. cake, Stampy. Oh, well, I'm all about cake. I personally, love that stuff. Ha ha! Yes, exactly my stance. You don't need to rub it in. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide Jeez. for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day. Otherwise. <laughs> You don't oh, even no. need this much stuff for There might cake. be some extra eggs and stuff around town. I bet There's you could find right enough to do me. cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. Okay, this is the last thing I'm doing because Petra's probably triggered at me now. Get the egg. Get the egg. No, I'm dipping. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Wait, ma'am. Wait. Okay. Never mind. Mom entrance? I mean, yeah, there it is. Jesse! Jesse! Give me five! Okay. Day? Maid! You're my hero! Oh, I thought you said gay. She said day, maid. Okay, yeah, let's go. And here we are at the mines. Nice, thanks for walking with me. Oh no, thank you, Jesse. It was a pleasure watching you work. It truly was. Stopping to help all those people. Helping them prepare for founding day. Very inspiring. Ooh, I like dog. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Risking your life. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. Bye! Have a good time! Don't I always? Wait, so is Radar looking over the town while I'm... Okay. If Petra has a new outfit... What? Petra? Huh, I swear she said to meet right here. Petra! Where are you? Boo. No! Oh! Stupid zombie. Out of nowhere. Oh, I missed Stop this. Smiling. Oh, okay. oh, smell not so much. All right. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh, wait. Wait. Look at that. Punctual yep, and kicking outfit. butt. Nice. Hey to you too, Petra. <laughs> hey, I'm glad to see you remember how to use your sword. I was worried you'd gotten rusty. I can't even imagine that life. I am not Managing rusty. Managing people, signing papers. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, I am not rusty. <laughs> Close your mouth. Oh yeah? Says the scrub wearing iron armor. I didn't want to dent the good stuff, so what? <laughs> Look who's talking with an iron sword. Where's your fancy gold one with all the enchantments? Can't remember the last time I saw you without it. I, uh... It's too soft and too flashy, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> time to find out just how rusty you are. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> too slow, zombies. Typical. Backflip! Oh wait, you can't do backflips. Oh! Okay, maybe I'm a little rusty. Hit him! Oh. Okay. Look out there, Jesse. Maybe a little rusty. I must say, I really appreciate you making it on time. It means a lot to me. I sometimes worry you don't have time for your friends anymore. 
I know you enjoy your job or whatever. My friends love me. Not that I'm trying to make you feel guilty or anything. You're in a bad mood. I do love my job. Friends are more. Oh come on! You know you're more important to me than all of them. Okay, now you're just trying to flatter me. But, uh, can't help but notice that we're missing one, two, three. Axel has boomtown duties. Olivia's grading something or other in Redstonia, and Lucas is writing. I figured. Wait, what about Ivor? Man, our friends have gotten lame. I swear, if our old fans saw what we're doing now, I'm just saying. I don't care how good Lucas's next book is. It's not exactly You're slaying right. a wither storm. You know? You're right. It is lame. It Wait, what? just isn't the same without them. See, oh. I knew you'd get it. We'll worry about them later, I guess. We gotta hurry. Don't punch me in my what door. exactly are we looking for down here? I'll tell you when we find it. Just trust me. It's important. What the freak was that? What was that? Come on, let's race! Wait, what? It's monster hunting time! I was about to kick hey, him. It's Jesse. What's up? Good to see ya. What the fuck <laughs> was that for? Oh, perfect. It's perfect. Yeah, you that. I think he said a bad word. <laughs> what was I supposed to do? He didn't give me an option. Everyone get down! It's gonna blow! Where'd you go? Where'd what go? Ha! Ah, look down there! So you're really not gonna tell me what we're what? chasing? Nope. I think I know. Mystery is what makes it fun. Come on. Remember, <laughs> you were so supposed to lose. You were awesome. Everybody knows I'm faster than you. I'm hey, I'm surprised as you are. I'm just glad I've still got it. <laughs> Guess I didn't have anything to worry about after all. Okay, this mystery better live up to all the hype. <laughs> Here I come, mystery monster. I believe there's a cutscene comes. I think it is Llama. It's the llama, isn't it? Yep. A llama? A llama? I knew awesome. it was a llama because I've been in the episodes. Oh, 
Oh, your owner is gonna be so happy to see you. Wait, let me get this straight. This quest was just to track down a stupid llama? You're gonna spit on me. Wait, what did he just do? It's not just a stupid llama. It's, uh, it's important, okay? It's apparently like, a uh, treasure sniffing llama, or, uh, it's important, okay? Okay, she's triggered. Please, just trust me. All right. We just need to bring her back to her owner. Being so secretive. It doesn't need to be like a thing. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. If you say it's important, then I trust you. Yeah? Don't, don't you? Yeah. Now, how about we get you out of here, huh? Hold still, ugly. Uh, oh, okay, you big, ugly llama thing. Just hold still so we can get this over with. He knows I'm coming. He knows. Uh, no! <laughs> That's what you oh, get for wearing that dork armor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just have to craft a new set. Dang. Let's get this thing. Don't let it get away. What do llamas do? Oh. Ew. Oh, gross. Come on, let's get after that armor wrecking thing. Uh, hang on, it's super dark down there. We should make a torch. Where's the coal at? What sticks? Oh. Residence. I know, I know. It's just that you do a lot of paperwork and like town running things. Call a shovel what, a shovel, what, am I right? Paperwork. Okay. How the heck did you get up there? Who knows? See, he but can it's get coming himself down now. Down. Oh. Oh, he hunted something. Some sort of glove or gauntlet? Looks like oh, it's made out of prismarine. A glove. A I prismarine? Hate guardians. I better not see but any guardians. You only find that at the bottom of the ocean. Okay, 
Ow. Wow. Stop. That thing is really stuck. I just can't shake this feeling that maybe you were meant to find that goblin. Like, well, yeah, maybe it was your name. destiny or something. I hope it's not a curse. I hope it's not like a curse. That's usually what leaves things stuck to you, right? Yeah. Until you die. Oh boy. I can respawn. Which isn't oh. what's happening here. Yeah, I can respawn. I you hope. Just can. Uh oh, get off the pyramid, quick! Whoa! Let's get you up out of there. Is that a green tornado? Okay, now what the heck is that thing? It's like a huge mouth in the ground? Some sort of heck mouth? Sure, yeah, heck mouth. I I don't think I can oh, see the bottom. Say hell mouth. Ugh, gives me the willies. And drop, what's drop. that sound yeah, coming from down there? Fill it up. Oh. Yep. Wow. That is bottomless. Well, we, we can't just leave something like this exposed. We, we should cover Wait, it up. They said hell before. Yeah, agreed. Oh, yep. Yeah, we're going to fill it up. You just do this logical thing. What is that? Not sure, but I'm getting a bad feeling that it's the actual way we're going to fix this. A bit of pressure, please. On second thought, let's talk about it anywhere but here. Not getting out the way volcano. we came, though. Wait, what? Oh, I thought you said volcano. Hmm, where could we get out? Oh, is there some iron up there? Look, I think that goes to the surface. <sighs> is that a whale? So close to Beacon Town. Here, maybe you could leave a warning or something. If I can write whatever, dang it! Heck, mouth, top secret, go away, get a keep off the grass. Uh, go away. I wanted to put my own thing. Ooh, mysterious. Okay, then. Well, you, Lava, <coughs> go what do we do about all this? Jeez. Well, it's all made of prismarine, right? And yeah. you only find that in, like, monuments and stuff at the bottom of the ocean. Where I'm not going because I And there's a treasure you. hunter in Beacon Town named Jack. Kind of a legend. Jack? He knows everything about prismarine, exploring the ocean. Because we definitely can't have that happening again. That was... Do that was really bad. Him? And you trust this guy? Yeah. I mean, I never met him before, but okay. I've heard a lot of good things. And I'll take you to Jack's shop as soon as I'm back. But first, I really need to deal with this llama. Okay. Come on, you. Gotta get you home. Ride him. Oh, wait. Um, Jesse, I'm really kind of in a hurry here. <laughs> I'm thinking about a, a <sighs> You know a my sword? Balloon. Gold one, with all the enchantments. Miss Butter? Yeah, I, I kind of got tricked by this person named Stella. Said she just wanted to put it on display for a little while. And Wait. now she won't give it back until I do dumb quests like this for her. It's, uh, it's been... Not wow, great. Hoping know. this is the end of it. So, yeah, that's what's been going on. She runs a place Wait, called Lama's Champion City. Wait, players. like Champion City Ooh, right over there? Nice city. I had no idea that a leader was like that. Yeah, she's ambitious. And she's willing to do anything to get her way. Bullying, lying, cheating. Without my sword, I just really need to get it back. Just hope Stella actually gives it back this time. We're the Order of the Stone, Petra. Looking out for each other is what we do. That's fair. Thanks, Jesse. Come on.
Can't wait to meet this Stella myself. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Then, freshly rearmed, we'll come back, sort out that heck mouth, and get this thing off my hand. Oh boy. Wow, even the flowers are organized. Yeah, and see the gardeners working on them? They all owe her stuff, too. Everyone in town owes Stella something. I think that's where she got most of the materials to build Champion City in the first place. Lots of little trades all add up after a while. So why don't they leave, then? Why do they put up with it? Stella keeps some of them under her thumb, like my sword thing. But some think that if they impress her, maybe they'll move up, become a champion. But all their hard work is actually doing is making Stella's city better. Well, your sword is one trade Stella won't be getting out of. I'm gonna make sure of it. Okay. Can I talk to him now? Okay. Oh, nice day. Oh, that's completely rude. I should... Let me punch him with this thing on my freaking hand. Nice technique. You're lucky there's no punch option. Let me try one more time. Three tonight. How about that weather, huh? One minute it's beautiful, the next... No, not a weather fan. Fine, so jerk. You're, you're so freaking... That was probably the last time I could talk to him. Yep. Wait. See if we can talk to any other one. No, oh, wait, here's Petra. Hey, the llama doing okay? Hard to tell. She seems really nervous. We should probably she get her to Stella tired. as soon as you're done looking around. Can't believe Stella built this whole city. Yeah, but it's all fake. Made by people she's tricked into doing it. I'm not even sure she even remembers how to build anymore. Ugh, there's Stella. Yes, that's right. Puppies for everyone. No shoving now. We're not beacon towners. <laughs> oh, my. You've probably put this together right now, but Stella's pretty fond of herself. I would play to her ego. Ah, oh, well, that is a cute one. No. And he could be all yours. No. Provided you have the right payment, of no. course. Oh, she matches your outfit. <laughs> Come on, you. <laughs> oh, Luna, my darling. You came home. You came back. Uh, Rodrigo, could you bring Luna home, please? Yeah, Rodrigo. We need to help that There's one. a good girl. Stella. Oh, Stella. look who it is. Jesse, leader of Beacon Town, and my sworn rival. I've yes. never met her before, yes, right? No. Our rivalry, Beacon Town versus Champion City. When Surely you think about it as much as I do. Oh, boy. Correct. <laughs> Sorry, but you are not my rival. Okay, that my was a B-list villains are way scarier than you. I do not know what kind of mind games you are trying to bring into our rivalry, but I'll tell you right now, they are not going to work on me. I meant to... I don't know. I love the glove, by the way. Absolutely, darling. You wouldn't be interested in trading, would you? Oh Got some fine puppies here. Don't hold it like that. All free range, of course. Don't change the subject. That's yeah. not why we're here, Stella. We have other business. Uh, too bad. They're very cute puppies. Yeah, it's scared. And, you know, I heard you need a new pet, so... Oh. Okay, okay. hold it. See, see... Oh, Petra, you're here too. I almost thought Luna just came back on her own. What do I owe you? A puppy? No, that mm. wasn't... A diamond, maybe? No, I... An emerald? <laughs> Don't push too Shut hard up. now. Would you stop talking already? No! The voice is exhausting me. Sword. I want sword. My sword. Preposterous. I meant to tell... So I was, was very, clear. I was very I clear. I make trades for treasures. 
I think I'm all done here. You said you just wanted to display it. I thought I could still use it. Oh, no, honey, no. <laughs> you wanted to become my champion. You came to me, remember? In exchange, you got to live here instead of Beacon Town. Isn't that nice? Wait. Oh, no, was she that supposed here? to be a secret? <laughs> oh, dear. Petra, yeah. sweetie. Wait, what? You live here? I... Uh... Well, I think it's about time I go back to my treasure hall, Jesse. By the way, way nicer than yours. Oh, my... I want to fight. Mm -hmm. Roll in, fight the bodyguard, she snag the sword, get out pig. again. Piece of cake. I, I like the pet. sound of that. And then you're going to throw a puppy up in the air. What if he wasn't standing there? Maybe. Hey, you can't be in here. And you definitely can't have those. Let's get fire out. it up. I don't like you. I'm not <laughs> a fan rusty. of yours either. You still really need to talk about this, Petra. You really want to discuss it now? Yes, I do. It does seem like weird timing. Shush. Hey, shush you! I'm trying to have a conversation here! Wait, was that Mark? Oh. No, back up. This whole Champion City thing's kind of a big deal, don't you think? Is it, though? So I have a house here. So what? Hey, what's going on you? out here? Uh, Am I right? Uh, so what? I feel like you're deflecting the issue. Uh, me? No, not you. you. Yikes. What about not wanting to be tied down? What about your friends? You mean Diamond. the friends who are never around anymore? Yeah, you're not in my town. You're never around. <laughs> Mm. What did you say? If only that was so. No matter what happens, no matter how much I do, you're the big hero. You probably don't even remember what it's like adventuring out there, scrounging for resources. I want to adventure. I was just talking about that earlier. You were on time today. That was great. Uh, but it's hard to ignore that none of my friends are ever around anymore. Do you know how it feels to show up for quest after quest and just hearing, Oh man, I'm sorry, next time, next time. It gets embarrassing. Come on, Petra, do you really think that's fair? We have lives. I have a whole town depending on me. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't. You might have a point. This is Stella's treasure room? Just yet. Yeah. Just take all of that. Trophy heads, gold oh, wait, no, pants, sponge blocks, a diamond O? Yep, all bought from other people. Half of them still have the name tags of other people oh. on them. She's fake. Yeah, she's okay, fake. Okay, now I'm just getting mad. Being a hero and being cool is more than just having a room full of treasure. She fake. Especially treasure you got from other people. I know one treasure she doesn't get to keep, though. Should be... No! Where'd it go? Where'd she put it? You're sure it was here? <clears throat> so, our oh, rivalry escalates again. You're not my rival! Says the person yes, breaking are. into my treasure room. That was a mistake. Classic rival move. You shouldn't be here. Well, you shouldn't be such a jerk. Guess we're all disappointed. Okay, okay, fine. Just take it. Take the stupid sword. It's fake. I've got better treasure than that it's probably anyway. Fake. Who needs it? You couldn't stop me. You couldn't stop me if you wanted to. That sword is ours. So, Classy, just remember that you had to beat up on an innocent, beautiful civic leader to get it. I didn't do anything yet. I won't forget this, Jesse. History will remember this as an important day in our rivalry. A day you will rue till... Still not my rival. Oh, man. Oh, okay. I'm still going. Raw. Feels so good to have you back. The freak with that raw. Thank you so much for your help. I know it got a little weird back there. I appreciate you Wait. still helping oh, me anyway. 
Well, you're welcome, but you definitely owe me for that one. Yeah, yeah, I do. What is that? Bigger. Oh, it opened. Wait, what is that? Sign didn't stop that. What are those? Well, it's a lot of Charged creepers. creepers. And they're charged? That should be impossible. Tell them that. Yeah, they're exploding. No, stupid cheap sword. I thought I had a stone I got you one. covered, Jesse. <laughs> so good to have you back. Oh no you don't Ooh. Oh that would have been dumb if it wasn't so awesome So I can point Oh, come on. We need to get this thing covered up again. That's a lot. All right. Hey, we're standing on... Standing on midair. I don't know how we're going to get this to hold. That... Heckmouth blew right through the ground. First your prismarine gauntlet, then that prismarine pit spitting out creepers. We need to get to Jack's fast. Yeah, I hope this treasure hunter knows as much as you say he does. He does. He's gotta. Come on, I'll show you the way. Welcome to Bad Luck Alley. Wow, I didn't even know people hung out down here at night. Well, yeah, it's the cool part. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, uh, you know, these are the people who like to live off the grid, outside the rules. And you're kind of the boss. It's just the way the world works. That's like the trade-off when you're in charge. You know that. For showing. Well, I really appreciate you showing me. I know this is, like, oh, your thing or whatever, one. and it's nice of you to share. <laughs> you are such a cornball, but no problem. Cornball. Okay. Should be somewhere down here, I think. Wait, have you never been here before? You said you knew a guy. Okay, not know, know him. him, know him, I know of him. Okay, fine. He's a legend, all right? He was once one of the greatest treasure hunters in the whole world. And he's kind of a hero of mine. What should I say? What should I do? I can't believe I'm about to meet Jack. But what if he invites me to go adventuring with him? I've, I've heard legends of how great he is. Hey, you're a great adventurer too, Petra. Just play it cool around him. Well, I mean, I'm no Jack, but I'll give it a shot. Good advice. Jack the one that's running away? Okay, no. Oh, look, there's the wither thing. The wither's going. 